Welcome to the C-Suite at the Open Video Series with TMX Group. I'm Arnie Goldstein, Head of Company Services based out of Vancouver. Joining me today is Brad Cook, the CEO of Endeavor Silver. Brad, welcome today. Thank you. Good to be here. So let's get right into uh, talking about Endeavor Silver. What are the three things that you'd want existing or prospective investors to know about Endeavor today? I think the three main drivers of value are that uh, our costs are falling, falling quickly this year. And of course, in a rising price environment, that sets up a perfect storm for our cash flow. That's number one. Number two, Endeavor has built the sector leading organic growth profile with not one, but two uh, discoveries ready for uh, development in Mexico uh, to effectively turn us into the next major solar producer. Uh, and number three, we have this portfolio of world-class prospects in Chile that we're about to start drilling. And uh, that's an attempt to break out of the small high-grade underground vein mine uh, mold and get into something uh, more world-class. Excellent. How would you sum up Inve or Endeavor Silver's investment proposition? Uh, well, Endeavor is a mid-tier silver and gold producer. Uh, we're, we'll produce about 6 million ounces of silver and equivalents this year. Our only equivalent is gold. And um, our combination of uh, falling costs and uh, you know, uh, rising production. Our next mine, for instance, the Terra Nero mine, will double our production. Uh, and the one after it will almost triple our production. So we're looking at uh, coming into a phase of not only uh, sector best growth, but uh, the estimated economics of the new mines are significantly lower cost than the current cost profile of the company. Terranera will single-handedly cut our costs in half. So we're coming into a real phase of, of value creation. Excellent. Um, Short-term catalysts that investors should be looking for, things that are going to really push the envelope for Endeavor uh, short and medium term here. So the rest of this year, we're in the tail end of our operational turnaround at our three mines in Mexico to again, drive costs down. And uh, in the second quarter, notwithstanding, uh, standing still for two thirds of the quarter due to a government mandate in Mexico to shut down the mines, uh, all three mines generated free cash flow in the second quarter. Uh, well, that's which fantastic. Which is I think, quite remarkable. Uh, that's, you know, I think uh, continuing that trend short term um, we've moved to a full feasibility study on our next core asset, the Terra Nera mine project in Jalisco, Mexico. And there'll be tremendous news flow, not only on the engineering side, but we've restarted the drilling there this month and we'll drill right through year end. So we're expecting to take another shot at growing resources at Terra Nera. And then last but not least, I mentioned these world-class prospects in Chile and our, our arguably 5 million ounce high sulfidation gold target in uh, the Paloma project in Northern Chile, we'll actually get drilled here in the fourth quarter. Excellent. That's a great overview. Um, can you tell me what does being listed on the TSX mean for Endeavor Silver and uh, and your stakeholders? Well, the TSX is the mining platform worldwide. I mean, uh, you wouldn't be anybody if you weren't on the TSX. And it's a very important stepping stone to larger markets, whether in America or Europe or Asia. And so we're very thankful for our TSX listing. Brad, thanks for joining me today, and uh, I hope to see you on the market soon.